Welcome back. So guess what? Today is today's pizza day. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the pizza dough recipe that I showed you from my mother in a previous video and we're going to make pizza out on the grill. It makes delicious wood-fired pizza and it's super easy to make. When we come back I'll show you exactly how we make it. Okay, we're back. So here is what we've done. We've made the dough just exactly like I showed you in the previous video, and I've divided it into four different pizzas. And so this is going to probably be about a 12 or a 14 inch pizza. I like them pretty thin. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll it out flat. And you can see that I've actually started covering it with flour, and I'll roll it out here in just a minute. We've made our favorite pizza sauce, which for me, it's a little bit of sugar, it has basil in it, and uh, some crushed tomatoes. And then we're gonna top it with our favorite toppings. What we'll do after that is we'll slide it on the pizza peel, and this pizza peel has been treated with uh, cornmeal, and that allows it to slide off super easy onto the grill. So the interesting thing about the grill is, you can actually utilize a unglazed floor tile in place of a pizza stone. And so I learned that on the barbecue forum many, many years ago. I bought four unglazed pizza tiles, or unglazed floor tiles, and I've been using them on my grill ever since. Super cheap, I think my total was $3 for all of those, and it works great. So let me show you how this comes together. Okay, a little bit of flour onto the work surface, and then a little flour onto our pizza peel. I start by kind of making it into a circle. And then I'll roll it out. This dough works really well because I have ran it for 10 minutes in the mixer and it actually has made it develop a ton of gluten so it makes perfect pizza dough. It's the perfect crunch as well as uh, tenderness on the inside, especially when you do it on the grill. So I'll flip it over to the other side a little bit, try to thin it out a bit more. Set the dough under our peel. Remember there's corn flour on here to make it slide off easy. Now we'll top it. Now the key to topping a pizza is balance. So you don't want to have too much of any one ingredient. So on this pizza, that's roughly about four tablespoons of sauce. I may need just a bit more, we'll see. I think I'll add one more spoon for good measure. Okay, that's looking good. This is actually whole milk mozzarella. Don't use the skim, it makes all the difference. So this is whole milk, low moisture mozzarella is what I have here. Do not use the part skim. If you can find it without it, get whole milk. It's looking pretty good. Okay, so outside I have our grill set up. Our grill is set up, it's going to be about 500 or so degrees. I'm gonna put that in there. It's probably gonna maybe take five minutes, maybe 10 minutes. I'm just gonna keep an eye on it. And when it's the, done, the desired doneness that I want, 
I'm going to pull it out and we're done. Super easy, super fast. Walk out here and let's show you. Okay, so let's see how we did. This is probably about seven minutes on that grill. It's about 500 degrees. It looks really nice and crispy. You can certainly leave it on there longer if you like. You can hear the crisp and crunch. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Take a look at that. Perfect, and it has that little bit of char, a little bit overdone on the other side. That's totally fine. We even made a pizza over here for the adults. That's it. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. We'll see you again soon.